To bring a table from a worksheet into the Power Query Editor, we go to Data, Get and Transform, and the From Sheet button, or in earlier versions, From Table. When we click, that brings the table into the Power Query Editor. If we want a keyboard shortcut, well, we can use the Alt keyboard. So I hit the Alt key, and then A to get to Data, and then PT, so Alt APT but the fastest keyboard. And guess what? You need to learn where the right click key is on your keyboard, because the fastest keyboard is right click key. And then down at the bottom, you see that underlined G. I hit G. So right click key, G. That's the fastest, and that's the one I like to use. All right, here's bonus number one. If we create a dynamic spilled array formula, I'm just going to highlight the column here, discount. Because the formula has multiple items, when I hit Enter, the results spill into the worksheet. And guess what? You can bring dynamic spilled arrays into the Power Query Editor. Now, with Excel tables and dynamic spilled arrays, it doesn't matter which single cell you have selected. Right click G. Now, of course, dynamic arrays and defined names will always come in with column 1 as the field name. If we have a defined name, you actually can't select a single cell. You have to fully highlight the defined name. And I can see, in fact, up in the name box that that's a defined name. Right click G. 